for its shield bow, some of those tankier builds. It's very okay. difficult for Kennen to actually push out the graves whatsoever. So you're expecting Whippo to have Pryo in that side lane for sure and to be more of a side lane force. Uh, this one's more Here of like come. Hans, Bjerg. Okay, Kor and Hans are leaving. Be Here Bjerg. comes Bjergsen. Okay. Oh no, where are you gonna go? Oh no, Ari, don't walk into oh that. Oh my god! if it breaks out. And I just think that's smart positioning from Jojo. Okay, well, Inspired's They're coming around. They might just dive Bjergsen here. Jojo tanks the turret as long as he can. Oh. One more hit's what they need. It'll be one for one. But the fear comes through. Flash on the end of the tether to try to create space. But the flash follow is there and they get the kill. But now it's Realm Warp to bot. Here we go. Core JJ and Han Sama trying to get out. It's Flash from both Team Liquid Results. bottom laners. It's the cleanse from Hans as well. Wow. That's gonna cost him if EG can bring people back here later, or maybe just bring them back now. Jojo Pune gets the third kill of the game for Evil Genius. Han's not paying respect to the fact he's still in the area. Yeah. You just blew all your sums. He walks over. Oh boy, but now Vulcan's not paying respect to the fact that both teams have a jungler. <laughs> we don't get to participate much in the overall flow of the game until those teleports <laughs> become unlocked. Oh, right? gonna go. But that's going to be a big thing now. I was oh. just about to say that. And Bjergsen got a plate mid, so very nicely done. Jojo will lose that farm. Inspired will be able to pick it up, which is nice. And he has a fair early stride breaker, so I think he's, he's anywhere close to like a game one uh, where you, you felt like it was a guaranteed advantage, but they're going in. All righty, here's your dive. A lot of damage coming through, and Han Sama's already gone. Now they're going to swap the turret at the two in the kills. Bjergsen waiting over the wall here in the brush. He'll find some damage onto Vulcan, but it's nothing impressive. Vulcan now threatening a re-engage. It's Core JJ's there to help out his mid laner. Here's now Santorin, Vulcan's though, too. in danger. He's trying to get away from this one. Santorin swoops in, but they're ready to fight back. A long range arrow and a shutdown onto Inspired. Team Liquid's found one, and it ain't gonna just be that. Two for nothing there in the trade. Hot Sama's at nothing, but he's still doing better than Danny. Bill and the flanking jinx is not the most threatening. <laughs> TL skyrocket up to owning the neutral game here. Absolutely. And, and when we saw Impact actually commit the ulti on top side, like you want to trade aggressively. Uh, so we're going to watch this play. Jojo. All right. Corn Bjergsen going in for him. I don't really see a whole lot of ways out of this one. The dragon's going to be claimed. Jojo is going to go down. Team Liquid is just in their momentum. It's not going to happen. Yeah. They will be able to get tower back on the top side. So they're going to close that gold gap a little bit there, climbing back into it. Um, but here on top side. He is wrapped around on an EG is very far away from responding. Oh no, the three man dive. That ain't a JoJo reference. Bjergsen goes on a rampage and now Impact is just up here to watch his turret die. Team Liquid finds their seventh kill of the game. They take the tier one, bring that gold. Incredibly strong against what Impact is playing. And I love the fact that they brought it against it, right? Like, yep. you can't always stop. If Kennen have Kennen try to answer that and then try to come in on the flank, if EG yep. stay four here, though, TL could just try to look to engage. Santorin jumped in, but he's finding a lot of damage greeting him here. Danny grabbing every auto attack that he can, and Inspire jumps into the middle of everybody, but the super mega death rocket goes wide. A little bit ahead of the team. TL, though, moving up towards that top side, you know, won't be able to start up the Baron just yet. If that... If that Jinx all hits. I think they can get multiple kills there, though. That could mean so much more. It looked like a little sidestep on it from San Corin, yeah. you know, dodging out. Because if you get the reset, Hans was also low. EG, though, they get the dragon. They will get that bottom tier one, closing that lead ever so slightly. And everything's about the damage. You've got to make sure that when you go in, everybody melts inside your ulti. Whippo's going to get caught out here. He's inside the evil genius's jungle, and he's all alone in a 1v4. There's they go no Baron. way out. Eventually, he flanked here. So all he can really do is TP towards the top side where Vulcan is. He's trying to get him a ward in position to look for a flank. Yep, That's where it's it going to be. He drops the ward. Inspired's getting very low, though. They have to, they have to start this now. Yep, they got to be ready to go. There comes your paranoia. Vulcan here comes back. the damage here with the start. Impact coming around. Slicing Maelstrom will rend Team Liquid as evil geniuses will lose two of their own. And Bjergsen responds with a double kill. A beautiful answer from one of the best to ever do it. And Team Liquid shows no fear. The exhaust is immediate onto the cannon flank. 
and they can't get the kill, but they do get one down on bot side. Thousand gold lead for Team Liquid, but Evil Geniuses are not sitting back and letting Liquid uh -oh. run the show. Vulcan goes for the hex no the wall. They're going after Han Sama. He's down to a third, but they can't quite kill him. And now Team Liquid ready for the punch back. Bjergsen is godlike as Han Sama can rejoin the fray. Make it a double, make it a triple. Into an enormous lead here in game number three. The early game was looking real nice for EG, but ever since... They have a ward deep in bot lane. I can't tell if that's a trinket ward or actually uh, a ward that they could TP on. Um, but for now, he's just going to trade tier two top, get a little bit more gold. And he's likely trying to work towards that death cap. And they are okay. going for the deep TP flank, so that ward was available, but it's a counter TP. Yup. They're all going to turn for the cannon. The teleports are ready to go. Impact just slicing Maelstrom on to his opponent only. Bjergsen staying alive with the stasis. He's trying to deal with Impact, but now the rest of EG are trying to go in. Jojo's going to be taken low as Bjergsen takes Impact into the picture. Jojo about to die next. Inspired's about to fall. Hansom has been traded, but he's the only one. Team Liquid just won the game! Team Liquid crushed through the perfect response there on the TP flank. Bjergsen with the insta-TP forces the ulti out on one. TL on the march to victory will push themselves to match point. Let's go Team Liquid responding powerfully here in game number three, 17 to nine, 27 and a half minutes in, they move to match point. It's been a really good series. Game two, game three.